Hey, I'm the Dean Piet from Healthy You, Healthy Love, and I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And in today's video, I'll be talking about how to inspire him to go wild for you. Please stay with me as what I'm about to share is not what you'd call a sexy strategy, and yet it makes you super sexy and desirable. Before I continue, remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified of my next hot video. Be sure to comment below and tell me a little bit about you and your relationship situation so I know how to best support you. And please share this video with at least one friend in need of some support when it comes to attracting devoted love. So what is this one thing you can do to make a man go wild for you? Well, it's all about the art of spending time apart, which allows for self-care or me time, which is the good news because this makes you sexy to the core and doesn't involve you getting a new hairstyle, losing weight or trying to be sexy. What tends to happen for many women is that when they really like a man, they start focusing all on him, especially if she feels as though he doesn't like her as much as she likes him. When this happens, women tend to lose themselves. It's like they get sucked into a vortex of him and everything else that was important to her takes a back seat. This is why if you want to get his attention, you need to shift your attention back to you in the most empowered and graceful of ways. No games. This is all about you honoring yourself in a powerful way to captivate a man. Here I'll explain four ways to create space that makes him wild for you and why these four things are so important, not only for you, for the relationship overall. Number one, life gets busy. Not every moment will be spent with each other and that's okay. We can't expect our partners to always have time for us and vice versa as that would be totally unrealistic. But when we really like someone, Time apart can feel like neglect or rejection when it's not. When we feel neglected or uncertain, we can become anxious. And when we feel anxious, we normally want to escape this uncomfortable feeling, which often sees people acting outwards. Rather than working out what's going on internally and taking some time out to ask themselves what they must be believing about themselves in the situation to be feeling so terrible, most people turn their unmet desires and wants into requests or even demands. Sure, if your partner doesn't make time for you, quality time, then that's an issue. But if you do spend quality time together and yet you never feel satisfied, then I encourage you to start re-engaging with your own interests outside of the relationship so that when you do spend time together, you're not feeling constantly let down and needy of his attention. Instead, you're at peace with your relationship and yourself because you're filling up your cup in other ways. And as the old saying goes, if you love something, set it free. And if it comes back to you, it's yours. I know waiting for him to come back can be scary at times. So how can you be sure that your man is willing to even stay? Luckily for you, I have the perfect free gift that reveals five powerful ways to capture the attention of the man you want and inspire him to commit. It's called five easy ways to get a man to commit. It's free and it's yours. Just click on the link below in the description. Number two, space gives introverted people time to recharge. Some people need time to recharge and tend to themselves before seeing their significant others again. If you yourself are an introvert or you're dating one, then alone time is absolutely vital and cannot be taken lightly. Nor can this need for self-time be taken personally. I'm a chatty type of person, I'm quite social, and yet I love and need my self-time and would never want anyone to think that I was avoiding them because of this need of mine. Sure, sometimes you can relax and regroup with someone else around, though most often alone time is required. When you or he communicate this need to each other, you can then feel at peace and safe knowing that your partner is not avoiding you or you're not avoiding them. Number three, having time to yourself reinforces your personal identity. As I mentioned earlier, women can easily lose themselves in a relationship. Sometimes in a relationship, you get caught up in maintaining the identity of being the other person's significant other, while potentially and unknowingly losing sight of your own identity. Having time to step back and take care of yourself allows you to reconnect with yourself and reassess who you are as an individual outside of the relationship. This not only helps you to feel more complete from the inside out, which is the only way to feel complete, no man can complete you, it also allows you to navigate your relationship more objectively and more smoothly. 
also when we take time to connect to ourselves, we are then able to show up with our man more fulfilled and joyful in our hearts. And this makes us more attractive and more alluring, not only to a man, to all people. Because when we live from a place of self-honor and love, we're living with integrity as we're living by our core values. In life, one of the biggest causes for our unhappiness is going against our values. And most often we do this to ourselves by the choices we make. So if you're not feeling happy, check in on your core values. You're most likely out of alignment in some way. Number four, space allows you to miss each other. They say that absent makes the heart grow fonder. And while spending time with each other frequently is required to build intimacy and to bond, too much time together has the potential to make things feel samey, boring, and perhaps too predictable. Sometimes you need to allow yourselves the time apart in order to remember the qualities of the other person that attracted you to them in the first place. Sometimes it's easier to appreciate those things when you're missing them. Plus, it allows you to be even more excited to be together when you see each other again. And when you're off doing your own thing, you have more to talk about as well. And it can add a little bit of extra mystery into your relationship. So if you're thinking, well, what do I do with myself when I'm not with him? Well, the world is your oyster. Ask yourself if I was single, what are the things I would do with my time? Or maybe there are things you've always wanted to do, though never made time for. Maybe you've just met someone and when you're feeling attached and confused, you tend to overanalyze and lose your sparkle. This is the time to start living living and releasing your premature attachment to a man you barely know. Here are some self-care ideas to get you started. Spend time with friends and family. You'd be surprised how many women and men don't actually spend time with their friends and family when they're really locked down and really focused and in that vortex with a man. Now, if you're not in a committed relationship, take yourself on a date. Move your body more, dedicate time in doing the things you wanna do that your partner may not equally enjoy. Get off devices and read a book. Start a new hobby. So there you have it. Four reasons why self-care time can be very healthy for the relationship in the long run. It's only unhealthy when there's too much time apart and you start to feel a disconnect with the person. Now, before I wrap things up completely, I'd like to take a moment to share something very exciting that I know you're going to love. I have a powerful program for understanding men on a much deeper level called Unlock His Heart. In this program, I have an entire module on how to navigate men's need for freedom. And when you do this properly in specific ways, it quickly builds that deeper intimacy you desire. I also shared the fear class and the three W's. If you tend to experience fear with a man, fear of rejection, fear of never getting a man to commit to you, fear of never being loved, fear of not being attractive or good enough, then these two techniques have the power to transform these fears so that you feel confident with a man and deserving of love, which greatly influences the type of men we attract. You can check this out right now. The link to Unlock His Heart is in the description right below. That's all we have time for today. Now, before you go, please take a moment to comment below and tell me about your relationship challenges, wants, and desires. I want to find out about who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy, united love. And be sure to subscribe and click that bell button to get notified of my next video. And of course, give me the thumbs up. Also, we all need some loving support from time to time. So please take a moment to share this with a friend. All you need to do is click the share link below this video or you can copy it and text it to a friend who needs some help looking after herself when it comes to love. And recently, I've been more active on Instagram, so please share this video as a story to support others and please tag me at Nadine Pitt. I'd love to see you there because dating and relationships aren't always easy to navigate. So let's work together to create sexy, mindful partnerships. Thank you for being here with me. I value you and I look forward to seeing you at my next video.